The first step to building the fuselage is making the fuselage fittings. Um, most modern wooden airplanes that you see these days, like the Peaton Pole or the Fly Baby, use glue at every joint to hold it all together, but this wasn't really an option during World War I because they didn't have any decent glue. I think they pretty much just had hide glue. So what they did instead is they used little metal brackets at every joint. This is usually the most horrible, tedious part of building a replica because they're really weird complex shapes and there's just so many of them. Fortunately, my local makerspace just got a CNC plasma cutter and that made things way easier. I, I don't think I could have done this by hand. The SE5A's fuselage is actually split into two parts. The back half has really light, simple fittings and these didn't give me too much trouble. But the front half was another story. I actually had to make the front fittings twice before I got a usable batch. Um, the first time, I tried to keep it more like the originals. Originally, there were just two or three parts that were brazed together in the center, and the problem was, the metal break I was using wasn't very accurate. It could be up to five degrees off, and all those inaccuracies just piled up and pretty soon those parts were all useless. The other problem is, I just center punched and didn't make pilot holes, so the bit walking pretty quickly ruined everything. The second time, I broke each individual fitting into a whole bunch of different pieces that I clamped and welded together instead of bending them, and this ended up being way more accurate. They aren't the prettiest welds, but I'm pretty sure they're functional. Um, I ended up testing some cast offs by beating them to death with a hammer. and they did pretty good. They bent to some pretty extreme angles and never broke, so I think they're pretty safe. In the next episode, I'll start doing the woodworking and this will start looking like something. Thanks for watching.